So today I am doing my what is in my concert bag video. So I am going to see BTS in Soldier Field in Chicago on May 11th. So I am going to be going through what is in my concert bag. Um, it's just kind of some like basic stuff. Um, there's also some stuff in there that I'm not exactly going to be taking to the concert. And there's stuff that isn't even in there yet that I will be getting at the concert and stuff like that. Just because I'm going to be in Chicago for a few days because I have family there and we're going to do some sightseeing and stuff like that. So it's not really just my concert bag. It's kind of what I'm taking with me just to Chicago in general. It's just going to be like my bag, my purse for the few days I'm there. So I just wanted to show you, um, this is my first K-pop concert and this is the first time that I've had to do like a, get a specific bag for a concert. So I'm really excited. I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, if you guys are going to see BTS or any other artists who are in America right now, please let me know if you're going to see BTS the same day as me, like, please let me know. I'd love to like meet some people just for fun. Um, I'm going with my two siblings, so I won't be alone, but it'd just be fun to like see some people and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, here I have my concert bag. So, it is a clear bag. That was what Soldier Field um, is going with. They're doing the clear bag policy, and uh, mine does fit in with uh, within the uh, like size restrictions. I looked at the dimensions before I purchased it. I got this from Amazon. Um, so yeah, it was like not super expensive. It was just like, like $14. So super affordable. Um, but like I said, I've never had to like buy a specific bag for a concert. I've been to concerts before. Um, but there was never like a, a rule like this, but yeah, so here is what it looks like. It's kind of looks really empty just cause the bigger part of the bag is kind of like there's nothing really in there um but so first on the outside i have these two pins that i was given on christmas they were like attached to my stocking um so they're my biases yoongi and jungkook so i just have them on the front i do have a Jin pin that i will be taking with me to the concert and just trying to give away to someone um just because i don't really need it um actually let me show you so here is the Jin pin <laughs> um yeah, it's really cute. I just don't really have a use for it. It's just kind of been sitting on my shelf. And I figure there's probably someone out there who is like gin bias, obviously, and would like to have this. So um, I'm going to be trying to give this away at the concert. So that is going to be in here. I just didn't put it in here. Um, but then on the outside, we have this little cookie keychain that one of my friends got me while she was in New York. Um, because Cookie is one of my favorite BT21 characters, if not my favorite. Um, and he's also Jungkook's character, who's my bias, so that's really cute. I also have a Cookie pillow. Uh, I'm taking that to Chicago with me, definitely not taking it with me to the concert. But yeah, and then on the outside I just have this little hand sanitizer in a crab little holder. Because Namjoon loves crabs. <laughs> so, and I just thought it was really cute. Uh, so I just have hand sanitizer on it. Um, so yeah, so we can get into my bag now, so, uh, in this first pouch, first thing I have is this little Ziploc baggie, clear baggie with band-aids in it. I'm just that kind of person who's always prepared for everything. Um, I will also be keeping, like, some Excedrin in here, but I'm not going to take that in with me to the concert because, I don't know, even if I do get a migraine, I don't really just want to have to deal with, like, trying to make sure that I'm allowed to have it in the concert. I don't want to like go through the hassle of like getting it approved and stuff like that because I feel like it might take forever. Um, so I'm just not bringing it to the concert, but I will keep it in my bag because I get headaches a lot. I get migraines a lot all the time, like twice a week. So I need to have excision with me, but I'm not going to take it to the concert. Um, then I just have this little clip with some hair ties on it. Um, I'm going to be wearing my hair down, but like if it gets hot or whatever, and I, or just get annoyed with my hair. I just like to be prepared. I like to put my hair up. Um, then I have my sunglasses because it's probably maybe going to be sunny. And I just have my scrunchie around it. One, to kind of protect my sunglasses from breaking. 
and two just so I don't lose my scrunchie. Um, I like to use scrunchies on my hair um, normally just because like I said I'm prone to getting headaches and having my hair up in a tight elastic kind of hurts so I usually just use scrunchies because they're softer on my head but I do take hair ties just in case and like if there's other people around me like my sister or whatever who needs a hair tie I have them. Then I also have just this little mini chapstick. The label has worn off because I've had it for so long, surprisingly. I've had it for like a couple years, even though it's so small. Um, and I don't know where my other chapstick is, but I usually keep EOS with me because that like works better on my lips. Um, so yeah, so that'll probably go in here. And then I just have my uh, portable charger. This can charge my phone two times. I don't expect my phone to die, but if it does, I have a charger and it can charge it twice um, from zero, so that's really good. I just got this one because the package said Bon Voyage on it, and I was like, BTS, <laughs> you know? So yeah, and it, again, it has a hair tie, just one so I don't lose it, and two to keep it all together. Um, <clears throat> so then in this bigger part, I only have a few things, and I'll tell you why. So first I have, let's get this little thing, I have this little macaron. Thing, macaroon macaron I don't know whatever but it is a ring slash jewelry holder so I have my rings and my necklace in here that I usually wear like on a oops on a daily basis I just have rings and then a necklace they're not like BTS related or whatever but I want to take this with me to Chicago so I don't lose my jewelry because I you know I wear that every single day then I have my headphones um, one because we are driving to Chicago so it's gonna be a long car ride with my family um, and I just want to have earbuds, but also because uh, I plan on getting in the merch line and I know that line's going to be crazy long, so just having something to keep me occupied. And then the last thing in here is just my wallet. So I have this Hmong wallet. Uh, this is not official. I bought it from like a, uh, like a, I don't know, not, it's not official. Um, in here I just have like my credit cards, money. Uh, my ID is in here, but I used a photo card to cover it up just for personal reasons. So I have this, uh, it is the lenticular card from Answer. I just put it in here to cover my ID just so I could show this video, but I think I might actually keep it in there. My ID is just back here, um, just because. <laughs> so there is that. So that is all that's in my bag. The reason it's kind of empty is because I plan, okay, so I don't have an army bomb. <laughs> So I plan on buying one and keeping it in here. My sister and my brother, who are both going with me, both have army bombs. I bought them for them. I never thought to buy one for myself. I really don't know why. So I plan on buying an army bomb. I checked. It can fit with everything in here. Um, so I plan on buying one. So that's going to go in here. Um, I'm also going to have batteries. I have them like over there, but they're in my other light stick case right now, so I don't want to get them out. But I will take batteries with me because I don't want to have to buy batteries there because it'll probably just be stupid expensive for no reason. Um, and I'm probably going to bring some extras just for my siblings, like just in case we need batteries, like our light stick style or something. Um, so I'm going to be bringing some batteries and I don't really plan to buy any other merch, but if I do end up buying merch or getting any freebies, I want to have space to put that stuff in here. So that's why my bag is kind of empty, just because I'm kind of planning to make sure I have space for stuff. There's also a bunch of pin makers who like make enamel pins and sell them who are giving away pins at the concert. So I want to be able to like put pins on here as well. So I actually don't even own any enamel pins. I have ordered some, but I don't have any yet. Um, so I hope to be able to get some free enamel pins and put them on here um, just to like make it look really cute. I did check and I... Like, I know people have called Soldier Field, but I've also checked myself. They will allow you to bring pins in on your bag. There are some people who have them completely covered on their bag, and I don't know if that's allowed, but I know, like, all I know is that we are allowed to have pins on our bag. They're not going to confiscate them. Um, but I don't know if you're allowed to have them, like, completely covering the bag. I think that kind of defeats the purpose of having a clear bag, so probably not. So if you have a lot of pins, I wouldn't recommend putting them all in your bag. <laughs> but you are allowed to have pins on your bag just... I would recommend not covering it completely so they can still see inside your bag, hence the clear bag policy. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I don't really plan to buy too much. I don't really want to buy too much because like I'm broke, <laughs> so not really, but like I should not be spending all my money on BTS uh, in one day. <laughs> so yeah, so that's basically all that's in my concert bag. It's not too fancy. It's just kind of some essentials. 
planning for the day and um, leaving some space for things that I might get and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm really excited. Uh, if you guys are going, I hope you guys have an amazing time. I'm gonna try and vlog my trip in Chicago. I don't think I'll get enough footage at the concert to make a concert vlog, but I will try to like make a little video because I do have family there and my family is going with us. So like it's my parents and my siblings and stuff like that. So we're gonna try and go to, there's a K-pop store in Chicago and we want to go to a couple restaurants and stuff like that. So we're just going to be doing some like touristy sightseeing while we're there as well. Um, and I also just want to see if I can meet some of my Twitter friends and some YouTubers and stuff like that who are going. So I'm super, super excited. Um, so yeah, enough of me ranting. I'm kind of sick, so my voice sounds gross, so I should probably stop talking anyway. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, I'm super excited and I cannot wait for my BTS concert experience. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. It'll be my TWICE albums unboxing. They're arriving on the day of the BTS concert, so I won't even be here to open them. But that is gonna be my next unboxing, finally. Finally arriving. So, yes. Thank you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye! I'm in trouble, my